Hey guys, I wanted to make a short video. If you're thinking about getting into truck driving and you're a little bit intimidated because the vehicle is so big, you know, you're looking at about a 73 foot long vehicle, 13 feet, 6 inches tall, a little over 8 feet wide. You know, it's a little bit intimidating to think I'm going to be driving that down the road and changing lanes and going around turns. And if that was my concern, I knew I could do it. If anybody else could, I could too. But very quickly I learned what makes it less intimidating is your mirrors. And, and I know you probably followed trucks on the freeway that say, have signs on them that say you're in my blind spot. Uh, the truth of the matter is there are no blind spots in a semi. Uh, because you have mirrors huge mirrors on either side of the truck and uh, now it's true that something may not show up in your flat mirror and so you can't see it but you also have that curved mirror at the bottom the convex mirror and that mirror is very important when I was in trucking school they told us to check that mirror for something showed up in it that didn't show up in the flat mirror and I you know I had a hard time I struggled with that convex mirror I thought I'm gonna be a truck driver who does not use that mirror but I found out very quickly that you can't drive a truck and not use that mirror and having driven now for some years I've come to realize that that mirror that convex mirror at the bottom of the big flat mirror is the most important mirror on your truck because there can be a, a car hiding around your drive axles that you cannot see in your flat mirror but if you just look down at the convex mirror you'll see it as plain as day you can tell what kind it is you can see the driver uh, so don't worry about not being able to see somebody anywhere around your truck because other than directly behind you and close, you're going to see them. And if they're directly behind you and close, uh, you're going to see the shadow of their car unless you're going straight into or straight away from the sun. Or if it's at nighttime, but you'll see their headlights lighting up the back end of your trailer. So uh, you've got to get used to using that bottom mirror, that convex mirror. And you've got to aim it properly too. You don't want to point it so you can see your truck. You want it pointed so you can see the road beside your truck. And then get used to checking it. Check it often. I like to I like to test myself. I'll look in both of my flat mirrors, uh, and then I'll check my convex mirrors and see if I see a car that I didn't see in my flat mirrors. And honestly, I. I do it all the time, just today, that's the reason I made this video, is I was in the right lane because we were going through construction, and um, there was a car coming up, passing me on the right, which, uh, you know, normally you're going to stay in the right lane, I'm sorry if I said I was in the left lane because of construction, the trucks were to use left lanes, and a car was passing me on the right. I looked over in my flat mirror and I didn't see that car. I saw the car behind it, but I knew it was there. And then of course I would look down and check my convex mirror and sure enough it was there. And not only was it there, I could see what kind of car it was. It's the, those mirrors, once you get used to using them, you can really gain a lot of information by looking at them. So uh, I strongly recommend you get used to those convex mirrors if you have a pickup truck and you can put one on, um, it's a good idea, but usually the ones you buy that stick on or the ones that even you add on to the outside of your mirrors aren't as good as the ones on a semi because uh, the ones on a semi are rounded, but they're big and rounded, so they, they really show a lot. So if you have any questions, thinking about getting into trucking, I, wrote, I uh, made a video on good ways to get into it. But uh, feel free to message me or leave a comment at the bottom.